Balder, as far as... Thank you so much, Ms. Barb Dean, for joining us here in Dallas, Texas on the Valder Beebe Show. Valder, I adore you. How are you, I adore you, honey? you also, too, and I love the work that you do. What are you up to today? Well, today I'm talking about long-acting reversible contraception. <laughs> Hi, Barb. I'm so sorry that somebody <laughs> cut in on your time. In the meantime, you and I... We don't, get so to have to get our, uh, together. we don't get to have our little love fest between the two of us. Well, it's probably because we're talking about, you know, sex, you know, and I kind of blew the lines out probably. <laughs> My Facebook people were saying, like, okay, what about that sex topic? Yeah, right, let's okay. Let's talk about that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, well, let's talk about sex. And, and you're so well qualified to do this because tell us what you do in your everyday life. So I'm a practicing women's health nurse practitioner. I'm like one of 10,000 who are licensed in the U.S. to take care of women with sexual and reproductive health concerns. Because, Valder, you know, 30 million women access medical services to talk about sex and talk about reproductive health. That is correct. Now, are your patients very comfortable with you? Uh, because the nurse practitioner is the new doctor. I don't care what nobody says. Well, you know what we say as nurse practitioners, we have two ears and one mouth. That means we can listen twice as much as we talk. And so we like to take people where they are. We like to ask open-ended questions about diet, exercise, maybe mental health issues, sleep, and also sex and reproductive concerns like, you know, what kind of birth control might be something I should consider? Those are important questions. So in your practice and in this presentation today, what are people asking you? Well, what I'm encouraging women to do is ask their health care providers, their nurse practitioners, or their OBGYNs three questions. Number one, how often should I see you? Number two, what kind of screening test do I need? You know, do I need a pap smear? Do I need a mammogram? Do I need a colonoscopy? Anything else like that. And number three, what should I be considering when I think about my birth control? Do I need something that's a long-acting, reversible contraception, like an implant or an IUD? Are people asking these kind of questions also? I don't know. I'm asking about your clients on a, this kind of basis. You know, should I freeze my eggs because I'm not ready to have kids? You know, because a lot of women are delaying having children. And I know that has to be a, a question for them. It really is. So many women are delaying their childbearing so they can pursue their careers. And so, you know, every woman's situation is different. So we encourage women to talk to their uh, nurse practitioner or their health care provider about their own unique situation because there are risks and benefits. There's risks of waiting, and we don't know if something like freezing your eggs is going to work. But what we do know is that there's good, long-acting, reversible contraception for both women who've had a baby in the past and those who have not. And I brought you one, Valder. You want to see it? Yes, I do. So this is the Skyla IUD. This, is, this contains progestin. So it is completely reversible. And if a woman wants to become pregnant, it can be removed. Um, and there's no waiting period to try to get pregnant. In fact, three out of four women who had Skyla removed were able to get pregnant within the first year. It's over 99% effective, and it lasts for three years. So women who are still trying to make up their minds about career and delaying their, their family, this is something they may want to talk to their own health care provider about. Okay, and when you use this, what's the success rate of it? Well, it's over 99% effective. It lasts for three years, and it's completely reversible. Okay, so that's a pretty good choice for women. How safe is it? Well, this is a very safe option, but of course, every woman is different, and so women want to talk to their own provider about benefits and risks. Of course, every form of birth control has some risks associated with it, and the, the ones that are most common with any IUD and with Skyla are maybe a little bleeding, a little pain or discomfort after insertion. But if those last for more than 30 minutes, do talk to your health care provider about it. When you make the choice to go with uh, uh, an artificial birth uh, control, such as Skylar or any other kind of method, uh, do you need to think this out? I think the thing you have to do with any form of birth control 
is talk to your healthcare provider or your nurse practitioner about risks and benefits. Do you want something that's long term? Do you want something that's short term? You want to think about how does this fit in with your own unique personal and family history and your goals for the future. So if you're not talking about it, you want to find a healthcare provider like a nurse practitioner who will draw that out from you and ask those questions that are most pertinent to you. Barbara, you know, I could ask you questions all day. You know, I was a little kid in class, like they made me sit in the back from the front because I'd ask all those questions, and that's why I do what I do. But you have such great answers for us. My audience, where could they find out more information? Because what I am finding from what I do, and I'm simply just a vessel, you know, we have got to be so on top of our health. Our doctors are taking less and less responsibility for us as a consumer and more responsibility as a medical practitioner, I'm finding. So I've got to bring my questions. I've got to tell him what's going on. And in the old days, the doctors and the nurse practitioners, you guys used to just coddle us. Oh, Valder, you know, I love what you do because you're doing public health, right? You're getting information out for women. There's two things I want to tell your viewers and your listeners. Number one, if now that we have the Affordable Care Act, a lot of women are surprised that their birth control is actually covered. And for women who are having trouble navigating that system, there's a free service. It's called CoverHer.org, and women can access information about any kind of health care and birth control options. And for more information, of course, talk to your health care provider, your nurse practitioner, your OBGYN, or you can go to skyla-us.com for more information. You're such a wealth of information, Barbie, and I love you. Thank you so very much for answering your calling on this planet. Oh, Valder, thank you. It's a pleasure always talking to you, but you're doing so much good work to get information out to women, and I thank you. Thank you so very much. I'll talk to you soon. I'll talk to you on Facebook. Okay, I will do thank that. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.